Where the hell is this person banging on my stuff? It's, oh, it's probably in one of these rooms up here. Oi, what the hell? Leave that alone. And there's probably someone in this bedroom here. This is my house, you're not welcome here. G'day, I'm Scuzz. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. We are in version 41.6. Alright, I just converted my save game over to the latest version. This is old Mark the Mechanic. Uh, and there was a zombie waiting for me. And he did get me. <laughs> so, that was not nice. So, look, if you guys want to try out the new version of the game, just be careful with your old worlds. It it does create a backup, so you are sort of safe there. Um, but that completely caught me off guard. We've got a corpse in our room now. All right, so I was debating whether or not to start fresh or to continue with this guy. And I thought, well, this guy's not done yet. So it might pay to just check it out and see how the conversion looks. Um, it looks like there's already some weird stuff going on here. And here. All right, it looks like we've got someone banging around on something downstairs. Now, I did have one guy in here ready. All right, we're just going to see where they're banging around. Are they in my base? Uh, not in the base. I'm just going to check our surroundings here. I think my generators are switched off as well. Yeah. Oh no. We're fine. So the generator was still running. Alright. Let's see what's going on out the front here. There's probably a bozo banging around on something around here. Don't know where. I can't see him. No, it must be on the other side. There's a guy in here, in his underwear. Alright. So, it's one thing you'll notice about this update. There is a lot of underwear in the game. That's one of the big things they've added to it. Yes, they added multiplayer. Uh, but, I want to focus on the small things they added, which is a lot. Where the hell is this person banging on my stuff? It's, oh, it's probably in one of these rooms up here. Oi, what the hell? Leave that alone. And there's probably someone in this bedroom here. This is my house, you're not welcome here. I don't know how you guys got in here, but that's just rude. So, yeah, so we've got bras and underwear. <laughs> uh, and stuff on my bed. What's going on here? Hmm, okay. Stuff's a bit mixed up at the moment. All right. We may have to start fresh. Which is a shame, because he was doing so well. He was doing so well. Alright, so... Big thing I want to check out is... I want to go for a drive. Um, and just check out some of the surrounding areas. Because they've changed a few things. 
Um, roads now have curves in them, so there's areas that have curved roads. And we're going to take our new car, so we did get this last episode. And I do want to just go out and have a look. Let's just go do a lap of the town and see if anything's changed around here. You know, and come to think of it, the best thing might be to just leave this town um, and just start fresh in another area. And that might be the way to go. I mean, I'm not really seeing any changes that are grabbing me right now. Other than a bit of lag. Let's have a look. Let's just go down the main street here. There's the old courthouse. There's the old police station where we started. Alright, so nothing hugely exciting around here. Alright, so let's just do a lap down here. So there's the firehouse that we've been wanting to check out for a while. Ah. Uh, bad weather as well alright I reckon we might have to leave the city limits because this is all spaces we've been before so we've been down here so this is all the same oh, don't wreck my new car alright so there's nothing really eye popping here but there's the school that we were at in the last episode But nothing really new around here. Alright. Alright, just dead zombies everywhere. Put my lights on. Nope. Watch out for that guy. And watch out for that guy. Alright. So. The other new thing they added was the map. So we've actually got a proper map that we can fill out now, which is very handy. So unfortunately it is empty. And I would like to know what you guys think. Should we continue on with Mark or, or should we retire this guy and um, start fresh? Start fresh in the new patch. I'm sort of leaning towards starting fresh. Um, There is a lot of new stuff in the game at the moment. I don't think there's anything up here really. Nothing exciting here. Alright, let's go back this way. I mean, he's had a good run. Um, and I would like to just retire him. Um, we don't really want to get him killed off. Or the other option would be to... Go start off in Mulder or something. Um, that being said, I may have to... When I restart, I'm probably going to drop the zombie settings down a bit. Um, my computer is struggling <laughs> with the amount of zombies in the game. I mean, up here, apparently it says reusable 145. So I don't know if that's how many zombies are around. All right. There's none in the cell because I've killed them all, but I'm wondering what this reusable means. All right, so let's have a look here. So we're up here now. Um, let's just mark this as our home, because that's what that is. All right, let's head this way and see how this little town that we were trying to get to looks these days. Now, there is supposed to be curved roads in the game as well, so I'm curious to see if any of these roads have been changed. Because that is the big thing. Um, this, this road's been pretty straight, so... 
we'll just keep going. Not sure if I'm going the right way, but uh, we'll just keep going. Oh, shite. So that's a little bit different. I don't think this is the road we need to be there. I think we missed a turn. Hang on. We, we want to go to that small town that we've been to before that we were causing trouble with. Or causing trouble in. Um, I did not grab much equipment. So we're just going to wing this. Uh, I don't have a molly on me anyway. I've already wrecked my car. I'm not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. I mean, they did add the new town as well, so that you can actually go to Louisville. We are... a fair distance away from that place. <laughs> I would like to take a road trip there. Maybe that's what we can do with old Mark. Go for a road trip to Louisville. Start fresh in Louisville. There will be heaps of zombies there. That's the only problem. Heaps. Piles of them. Steaming piles of them. Probably should have slept before we left. I have tried multiplayer out with some friends and it's it's not bad. Um, it is still a little bit questionable here and there, <laughs> but it, it, it's come along. It's uh, it's in the game now, so you can play multiplayer. I'm just gonna avoid these guys. I don't want to trash my car too much. Just get out of the way. Trying to get somewhere. Alright, I think it was turned here. So many of these guys around. Yeah, so when we restart, what I might do is... Um, I'll tweak the settings a bit. I'll put the population down, but I'm probably going to turn respawns on. Um, I'm going to have a look at a way to do it where they only respawn if we've been away from the area for a while. That's what I want it to do. So if we haven't been in that zone for a bit, we want respawns to be there. I mean, I like the feel of clearing out a town and not having anything there, but it does get a bit dull. Um... I don't know, what do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? Alright, right, so this is, we're coming up to where we burnt all those zombies. It's up here somewhere. So I'm wondering if we've got sort of a little safe zone where we can... Is it here? I don't think it was there. I think it might be up here. My light's back on. Now I should have slept before I come here. Oh, budge. Oh, God. I just completely fucked my car, I think.
Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Engine zero percent. All right. We're not going nowhere. <laughs> All right, so we're stuck in the middle of nowhere, and it's dark, and it's pissing down with rain. All right, let's just uh, jump in there. There's no key for this car. Can we hotwire this one? take engine parts out of this one I reckon I did yeah yeah we're not getting anywhere we're not getting anywhere with that um did we take engine parts out of this one as well I reckon we might have this one has got some engine parts but I think Oh, what a shame. That car. I had high hopes for this. Alright, looks like we're starting a new adventure here. Um, so we're just going to walk into town. This is all we can do. We don't have any options now. Uh, let's just remove this. And put a new one on. Actually, uh, what's the time? We're not quite tired yet though, are we? Let's just go back and uh, sleep in our vehicle and see if we can get to the next day. Have we got anything to read or something to keep me busy while we're just waiting to kill some time? Because... There's no zombies around here. It's pretty safe. So let's just read this book. All right, just speed up time a bit. I'm probably going to be in too much pain to actually sleep. All right, speed this up. I mean, yeah, it'd be a shame to, to start fresh, considering how far we've gotten with this guy's skills and stuff. Well, that's what happens when you play early access. Alright, so we'll just stop there. Uh, do we have anything to eat yet? Eat some chippies. Eat the chippies, I said. Um, we do have some painkillers, so we'll take those. Alright, let's see if we can sleep. Is that wrong button? Let's see if we can sleep. Probably going to end up with a sore neck or something anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I think we get... Mind of pain. All right. Oh, I'm cold as well, really. Mm, it is the cold part of the day. That's all right. We'll manage. We'll manage. If we get sick, we get sick. Put that away. Uh, it looks like we've got a bit of a walk ahead of us. <laughs> but look. This is a good way to restart, I think. We crashed our car. We're hobbling off to the nearest settlement to, to find some food or whatnot. 
Um, we got food. We've got enough ciggies to keep us going for a bit. We've got a lot of basic equipment on us as well, but it looks like, it looks like I've got all my... Got my hammer. Got my welding stuff. Don't have a saw on me, do I? No. No. Chuck that in there. Chuck that in there. Yeah. Missing a couple of items, but that's alright. We'll make do with what we've got. Jeez, how far out are we? I think we are well of a ways off. <laughs> no town's just up this way, but how far up this way? That is the million dollar question. This is new as well, so the um, magnifier, this is the new foraging system that makes everything go a little bit fuzzy. Um, I haven't tried foraging with it yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll get a try of it at some point. Wet wind chill. Well, let's just let's get some exercise in. All right, we're very far away from town, by the looks of it. Nothing out here, nothing out there. Let's have a look at our map. Let's stop for a sec. All right, so we're here. Right, so nothing there, but there might be something just up here. We might be coming up to something. Unless that just indicates forest, which it could do. Which it does look like. There is. Oh, here we go. We got a fence. All right. So this is where we're going to set up our new life. Oh, this house looks good. Let's get our weapon ready. There's a few zombies around by the looks of it, according to that. I don't know if we can turn this off or not. Um, right, let's just have a sticky beak here. All right, get into stealth mode. We've got to be careful because there will be a lot of zombies around here. There will be a lot of them. All right, so what have we got here? This looks pretty empty. Sleeping pills. Lumberjack shirt. So there is a lot of new um, clothing items in the game. And there is also a lot of um, new cooking ingredients. There's something's going on here. That's all rotten food. We've got some matches, which I will grab. There's some wine. Alright, so nothing exciting in here. Guy over there. And he spotted me anyway. That's all right. We can deal with him. See, he got speedos. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, we're just going to keep our eye out for other zombies. There's another house up there as well. Sneak in here. What's that? I think we might have to start fresh. Yeah, I think we might have to start fresh things. Don't think things... Yes, this is stuff. A oh, bowl of soup, fresh and uh, cooked. You see, I think some of these items that are getting placed aren't displaying properly. Uh, rotten pasta. Yum, yum, yum. There's definitely something going on with the fridges here. Um, not sure what's going on with that. Yeah, I don't, don't think this is going to work. Everything's a bit funky, funky. You guys might not even see this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, very... Very interesting that things aren't quite panning out right here. Like this, this on the counter here, that doesn't look right. There's something not right there. And I'm just, I'm not seeing a lot of the new stuff that we, we had. Um, because when I was messing around, um, in the multiplayer, there was a lot of, a lot of new food items. And I'm not going to be able to show you a lot of them because a lot of them are just going to be rotten. Um, and be unusable. I mean, I was coming across oysters and, um, olive oil and all sorts of stuff like that. There was so much so much stuff in the game um even even the items you find in kitchens you're finding a lot more utensils to use i'm just not seeing that in these few houses we looked at i mean it could just be these houses are just how it is could just be how it is Can't open that door. But we can open this window. Maybe. All right. One more shirt. What the hell? They got tin foil hats. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah, oh, you went back in. Yeah, tinfoil hat. All right. So that's new. The sausages are new.
This is still the same old stuff that we've had for ages. Rotten steak. <clears throat> it's different see some texture issues that, that I'm coming across here. Painkillers. We need to have a cigarette. <clears throat> We need to have a smoke. So there's a laundromat over here. A bar. All right, we might be able to get a car from over here. And chances there's probably not anything interesting in here anyway. What about orange soda? We don't need any of that stuff. See, again, this, this texture, I'm not sure what's going on there. There's something not right. Something not right there. Again, I think we might have to restart. We, we can always revert back to the old save. Hello. I mean, they've all got new loot on them. Oh, we got a couple in here. Oh, do you guys have anything in for shrink? No. Garbage bag. That works on that one. Nothing in here. <laughs> Let's go and see. Who's making noise over here? There's someone on the window there. What's on there? So there's a lighter. And one cigarette. I'm gonna deal with this guy. Well, these two guys, or girls. We got a bra. Alright. Red frilly strapless bra. Alright, corn dog. Anything else interesting around here? No. Nope. Got this one, fried chicken. Beer bottle, beer bottle. Sink with a weird bug on it. So it seems to be sinks and fridges that are causing the weird, the weird bug. Right, did you have anything for me? You had a house key and a rosewood map. We don't need. Well, let's suss out this car here. About this car here. I'm locked. There's nothing in the back there. Oh, let's just smash this window. Nothing useful in there. Unlock all the doors. And let's hotwire this one. Let's see how we go. See if we can get ourselves a vehicle again. Right, so we got that. Any fuel in this thing? Ah. 
a schmidgen. I'll turn you off now. So we've got that. Uh, we do gonna need fuel. We the guns are needs a fuel. Bunch of guys over there. More underwear. If we ever wanted underwear, we've got an ample supply of it now. You've got a key in you. You've got no fuel though, have you? No, right, but we do have a key. Now let's see what's in the back. Screwdriver. Nothing useful there. Oops, wrong button. Nothing. Okay. So, yeah, so this is the first look at version 4 1.6. Yeah, I don't know. I reckon I might have to start fresh in this one. Might have to start fresh. There seems to be a bit of buggy textures going on. So, all right. Uh, well, if you see this guy's videos, well, sorry, if you guys see this video, it means I decided to release it. I may not release it. <laughs> you know, I might revert back to my old save and continue with Mark from there. But anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.